Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, thank you for joining me on my crafting channel, The UK Crafter. Today I'm going to be talking to you about making felt cases. Let's have a look at what we need. So the first thing we need is the actual felt for the case itself. Now depending on whether you're making a case for something like an iPad or something like a smartphone, that dictates how much fabric you need, understandably. If you're making something for an iPad, it's obviously quite large, so you need a, a larger piece of material. You can go to your haberdashery store and pick up felt in metres, half metres. But if you're making something like a case for a smartphone, it makes much more sense to go and get some of these smaller squares. You can buy felt in sort of 12 inches by 12 inches, so foot squares. And it makes more sense because when you're trying to manipulate the material, and you're trying to pin templates onto it, you've got a lot more chance of getting it accurate with a small piece of material. It's not going to be moving around all over the table like a great big piece when you just want to make a small case like this. Once we get our felt, we also want to get hold of a nice flexible tape measure, some scissors for cutting our fabric, some nice sharp pins for pinning our fabric, and then just in case we need to make any measurements onto the fabric itself, you can get one of these air erasable pen felt tips. And the beauty of these is that if you do make any marks on your fabric, within 48 hours the marks disappear like magic. They're really good, I, I suggest getting one of those. So, we've got our fabric, now we want to make some templates. If you're making something small like a case for a smartphone, you need to get yourself a template sort of around about this size. In the description below I'll put the sizes that you need for most of the major smartphones like iPhones, HTC, Samsung's. The easiest way to do this is to get a piece of A4 paper, get something like this which if you go to your craft store you can go and ask them for the, the material that people use to put in the base of bags. And In fact I've used this for a bag, I've cut a piece out that I, I made a bag the other day. What you can do with this is line the straight edges of this up with the straight edges of your paper. Get your tape measure or ruler, measure out the dimensions that you need for your case, get a pen, and this stuff's got little holes in, so you can mark through the holes the exact measurements that you need. You've already got two straight sides, so you only need to worry about two more sides. Take this away, Get your scissors and cut out your template. Now this template here is for a, a, an HTC One phone. If I were making one for um, an iPhone it would be slightly smaller. This fabric here actually was used to cut out an iPhone and this is clearly a bit, bit larger than that but um, the measurements are below so if you, if you want to make a smartphone case I'll do some videos for those and we'll make them together. Now, if you're making just a simple case with no embellishments, all you really need are the things that I've mentioned so far. But if you want to add things like buttons and little um, elastic tabs to keep things inside, you can buy the elastic that you need to sew in. You can buy buttons of various sizes, small ones like this or large buttons like this that you can sew on. And you can also add things like ribbons to them. So if you want a bit of a sort of a Paul Smith thing going on there, you can buy a ribbon and sew that onto your, onto your cases as well. And we'll cover that in another video. We'll do some, some fancy cases in another video. You can also use um, clasps as well. You can get magnetic clasps. And gosh, they're actually quite... They're quite tough, actually, to pull apart. Um, you can get ones where they've got little prongs that you... You put those and washers, you put those between sort of layers of fabric and bend the prongs out. Um, or you can get ones like this where that's, that's not as tight, still clips together quite well, um, but it's got holes through the middle so you actually sew those onto the fabric. I wouldn't necessarily recommend using magnetic ones for a smartphone case, um, but the options are there, or you can get these ones where they're just little clips, they're not magnetic and they just clip together. And you can either have those on a case just visible or you can actually sew them underneath the button so you can't actually see the metal clasp. All you see is a nice button. Um, we'll cover that in another video but there, there are options there for, 
for ways of keeping your cases together. You actually need some thread and some needles now, and, and or a machine, depending on whether you're going to do this by hand or whether you're going to use a sewing machine. The final thing to use when we're making something out of felt is this material here called Bonderweb. Really simple to use and very useful as well. If you're just making something from one piece of fabric, you don't really need anything other than the fabric and your template and a, and a means of sewing it together. But as soon as you start doing more than one piece of fabric, so when we're making something like this that's two layers of fabric, when you're putting it through the machine, you don't want the fabric to move around. That's why people normally use pins to pin things together. But, depending on what kind of foot you're using on your machine, you can still find that the fabric will move ever so slightly. Particularly when you get to the end of something, you might find that one piece of fabric has moved over the top of the other and sticking out. Even with pins. So the thing to use is something called Bonderweb. You can pick this up quite cheaply. I've got a meter here, I think it cost me about £1.50, but um, on one side it's just paper, and on the other side it's a kind of meshy plastic material. But that becomes sticky when you put an iron on top of it. So what you need to do is get a piece of fabric, you get your bonder web, or kneel up, you put this on top of your fabric, cover it with something else and then put a hot iron on it, when you take the iron away, this bonder web will actually be sort of bonded to the material. You can then peel off this paper side, put another piece of material on top, iron it again, and the two pieces of fabric will actually be bonded together. And that's really useful when you then put it on your machine, because that fabric is not going to move. You don't then have to worry about pins. That fabric's not moving anywhere, that's going to stay together nice and firmly for you to be able to machine around the edges or whatever else it is that you're doing with it. So that's all we need to make simple felt cases. Join me in my next video where we're going to make a very simple smartphone case. See you soon!